He began as a stand up comedian in Washington, D.C. Well, now he's also an actor and a musician. You know him from TV shows like In Living Color and The Proud Family. We're talking, of course, about Tommy Davidson, who's here for a one night show in Waikiki. He joins us now with a little preview. Good morning, Tommy. Thanks so much for coming. Uh, I'm so glad to be here. Yes, I am back. I am back. I'm always back and forth, but now I am back. I may not leave. We'd love it. I mean, at least. We'd love it. Now, before we get to the show, okay. let's talk about what you've been up to, because you've been busy. You just released your first single with Dave Cause, which yeah. is, that's huge. I got lucky. I got lucky. I, I'm in the smooth jazz industry now. Mm -hmm. I, I went on the cruise with Dave Cause's jazz cruise. He heard I can sing. He said, you should record a song. I did record a song, and I called him. I said, do you want to be on it? He said, yes. Wow. So from there on, it's just been, that's my first release. The second one was called I Know with Richard Elliott. Another great artist. And I'm just on my way. I'm on my way in the music train. You know? And now, the proud family, Louder and Prouder, mm -hmm. is going to be back for a second season. You have a lot of viewers, a lot of fans. What can they expect? Well, expect the unexpected, like always. But the proud family has always been around. 20 years ago, mm -hmm. it was around. Okay? My kids were kid kids. Now those kids are in their 30s. I got more kids. They're teenagers and kid kids. Now we got a whole nother show again, and I'm still Oscar proud. And people who weren't kids 20 years ago, like myself, remember you most of all from In Living Color, and you yeah. still keep in touch with uh, your co-stars like Jim Carrey. I, I do. I actually, I actually came to the islands, went to Maui, hopped over there to see him. Mm -hmm. He makes it really, really hard for me not to leave. I'm telling you now. So I guess I'm, I'm, I'm back. I love it here. The Blue Note is another opportunity for me to just be here and see all the wonderful people here. It's, it's just good to be back. Let's talk about the Blue Note. You have one show mm -hmm. tonight. You can sing. You can act. You're a great comic. What can people expect tonight? Uh, you know, expect the unexpected. You never know who's going to show up. It could be Sammy Davis Jr., you know. <laughs> the rainbows in Hawaii are colorful. But the main one, probably, that you guys love and mm -hmm. I adore would probably uh, be uh, Barack Obama. And the thing he loves about here is, is that there's a rainbow every day, and there's plenty of food to eat. I mean, if, if you take a look at it, you got adobo, you got all the Filipino food. If anybody says you're going to roast up a pig, it's going to happen real fast. Um, plenty, of, uh, plenty of pineapples, plenty of uh, sugar cane. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. And to be a part of the magic and to be a part of the happening this weekend with Tommy Davidson at the Blue Note, I, of course, just want to throw that up. I love it. You know what? Speaking of food and impersonations, <laughs> it makes me think, what will Sylvester Stallone say about food in Hawaii? Well, you know, one thing for sure, he would say, um, bring your chopsticks. You know what <laughs> I mean? Because, you know, not only are you going to be a knife and a fork, but you're going to need prop chopsticks. You know what I mean? Adrian, make sure I got the chopsticks. <laughs> That's right. For dumplings and all that other stuff. <laughs> Okay, well, what does Tommy Davidson like when he comes here? Because you come here back and forth. Mm -hmm. You're always mm -hmm. here. What's your must-have, maybe, food item or even restaurant? Mm -hmm. Well, there's not really a restaurant because people do the cooking for me. So I have a friend of mine's wife who does Filipino to the max. Mm -hmm. I also got a, my best friend who's here who does soul food. There's also soul food here. Oh, my gosh, she does this heavenly turkey wings. I just call it turkey gravy because they just melt into the gravy, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But the main thing I really love about the island is the fusion of people. You know, there, there, really is, there really is no race here. There really is no culture here. It's all kind of one thing. One and race. It's, yeah. And it's, it's the thing that we miss back home. You know, and, and we use you guys as an example of really how to live in harmony and really how to make that work. And we're so glad that you're a part of us. You know, and that's one of the reasons why I used to watch the Hawaii Bowl when I was a kid. It's I'm from back? Washington. Yeah, I'm, wa I'm from Washington, D.C. And I, where is this place? Mm. And I'm so glad that in my lifetime I got to make it here and really see what this is like. Well, we are glad that you're back. We hope you come back again and again. And if you need more information about the show tonight, you can just go to bluenotejazz.com. You're so good with impersonations. Do you mind if you step here and take my place, look at camera one, and just take us to break by reading the teleprompter in your most favorite impersonation? Camera one, over there. Oh, where's camera one? Is that camera yes, one? Yes, that's camera one. I gotta have my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just like to say that uh, I'm glad to be here, and um, I'm going to do my President Obama impression, but I can't see the screen, so I had to put on my glasses to make sure that happened. But then I can enter in Sammy because he can't see either. Okay.
Coming up next. Coming up next, baby. Go ahead. Chris will have a live look at the roads and what else is coming up you can't see. Let's look at camera three then. How about I, I can do it. Okay. But before we head to break, let's take a quick peek outside on this Aloha Wednesday morning. Uh, Chevy will have your updated forecast when we wake up today. Continues.